Hi guys, COVID-19, day number 20, lockdown, nothing much to do now. So let's start with our cars, thought we'd give you some tips. Normally I don't make videos on my own. I normally got my uh, teammates, Emilio, Siobhan and Devin to assist me. Or we all work together, but uh, we don't have much of a choice now. So uh, let's start. No, okay, we're going to be working with my uh, 77 Corolla SR5. Uh, we're going to go through the entire process. We're going to start with clay. We're not going to wash this car here because this car doesn't get washed because it's parked in the garage behind you um, all the time and it's under a cover. Now we all know that the first thing, or we should know by now, the first thing you need to do before any waxing, polishing or compounding is to clay the car. Claying is the most important step of the detailing process. We don't even count it as a step anymore. It's just as if you're going to wash the car. So the first thing what we're going to do is I'm going to loosen the dust on this car. This car is parked in the garage and under a cover. And it's waxed as well. Um, Claying, normally the guys use the baggie test to test for industrial fallout, for overspray or any roughness on the paint. Well and good, but people don't realize that you also get any other bonded contaminants that's smooth, that makes your paint feel smooth. And one of that is waxes. Waxes also need to be removed, or old waxes need to be removed before any new waxes are applied. So what I'm going to do is to remove the dust. I'm going to use our quick detailer and a microfiber cloth just to remove the dust from the paint. Okay, we're going to use our quick detailer. We're going to mist it. You don't need a lot of it. Leave it for a couple of seconds. What this is going to do is the dust is going to get lifted off the paint. It's going to be encapsulated in the little droplets which will be easily rolled off when we use a microfiber cloth to wipe it off. So we'll use a high quality microfiber cloth like our X2010. And you wipe it off as so in a straight line motion. Turn the cloth to a clean place all the time. There we have it all the dust is off the panel now we're ready to clay now to clay we're going to re resupply three clay bars we've got our clay kit which is our consumer line that comes with two 80 gram bars of clay a bottle of quick detailer and a supreme microfiber cloth for the professional line we've got our c2000 mild clay bar and we've got our C2100, which is our aggressive clay bar. Okay, for this exercise, we're using our C2000 mild clay bar or a piece of it, quick detailer, or ideally, you should also be using final inspection. But quick detailer is fine, just be sure not to use ultimate quick detailer because the silicones are very high and it can damage your clay bar. Be sure not to use water or soapy water. That will also damage your clay bar as well so work on the section 500 by 500 millimeters at a time you list your quick detailer work the clay bar in a straight line motion from left to right you use your clay bar you hold it into a flat patty and you clay in a straight line motion from left to right with a 20% overlap and you work your way down again turn the clay bar over and then you work on a cross hatch from top to bottom and work it as far as you still have detailer on there do not let the surface run dry fold your clay bar to a clean part Wipe this off. I 
and you follow the process. Be sure not to use a lot of detailer because you don't want to create a mess because that means you're going to have to wash the car afterwards. By following this process, you don't have to wash the car before any compounding, polishing or waxing takes place. Okay, join us tomorrow and we'll start with our compounding. See you guys, bye.